Hello, crafty friends. Dirty Paintbrush here, back in the craft dungeon, and we're going to do some work in some journals. So, I'm going to create a playlist called The Dirty Journals, and this is episode two because this is. Um, I posted a video earlier this week of uh, a layout that I did, and so um, I'm going to, actually I'm pulling some of my journals, my old journals that need filled up, and I've got all my jump boxes behind me, and I've got some, a couple of, by the way, I love this. Um, so a, ye a year or so ago, I kept trying to find deli paper, I like Sam's, and I could never find any, like sheets like this, you know, and I, I know they've got to have them somewhere and I'm just not finding them, but, um, a long story short, my husband bless his heart, he was so sweet and found these like at Walmart or something, and so he was just making food deli sheets and he picked them up for me, which is great, but they're red and white checkered. So I just have to work a little harder to get the red and white checkered covered up, and which isn't a big deal because I don't mind if a little bit of the checkered pattern shows through. I just don't want so much of the red and white. So um, I just keep these in a drawer next to me and I use them as um, roll off sheets or put them under my projects to catch extra paint. And then I have, eventually, I have some good uh, painty papers. So yeah, I've got a bunch of jelly prints, which I'm terrible at. I just tried to do some the other day. And I have to say, it looks so much easier watching other people do it. And I try to do it, and I don't know if I'm just not. Um, part of the problem is probably that I was trying to cover up this paper that I, that was old scrapbook paper. And then I thought that I was going to try to make it look cool by printing great big black and white pictures on top of the pattern to like, I don't know, kind of cover up the pattern and mute out like this one had like crowns on it or something, like coloring crowns. And so I printed out like big pictures of trees and mountains and stuff on it to try to cover it up so I could reuse it in journals. And then I'm jelly printing over that. So it probably doesn't help that I'm jelly printing over dark instead of flipping it over and doing it on the back side. Um, like I like the texture on this, but I just, mine aren't interesting. Um, when I watch other people do it, and I'm not even talking about the, you know, the people that get paid by Jelly Arts or whoever. I'm talking about, like, other um, YouTubers that are not professional artists. Um, their jelly prints look really cool and might just look really stupid. So, I don't know. I'm frustrated with it. I kind of like how this turned out with the purple uh, circles and then that kind of grid stencil underneath. And since the paper underneath that was like orange squares, it kind of worked, I guess. And then I've got that one. And I don't like my grayer, I think is part of the problem. It's a Mod Podge grayer. And for some reason, I just, it always like stops rolling. So it just like starts scooting paint across. And I don't know if it's because there's getting to be like, when that happens, if there's too much paint like stuck up here or if it's because I'm trying to press too hard or not pressing hard enough. There's all kinds of options. So honestly, um, it's just something that's going to take practice, which I'm really bad at practicing. I just assume that I should be able to sit down and do it once and be perfect at it. So um, realistically, that does not happen. But, um, you know, that is how I expect things to be. I'm trying to clean up my desk here a little bit. Um, this one kind of turned out okay, I guess. I mean, I plan to like either paint over the rest of that or just trim it off. This one turned out okay, but there's just nothing, none of it is anything exciting. 
I like the colors on this one. Oh man, you, the camera just does not do that just, maybe my light's too bright. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, see, that's probably too dark. I don't know. Um, if anybody wants to leave me a comment and let me know, maybe that light was just too washy outy. But it's like uh, fluorescent orange and fluorescent pink, and there was some pattern that it picked up underneath that that I think was green. I don't know, but that shows the color a lot better than um, it did just a minute ago. I don't know. I thought that I liked this white light thing, but now I'm not sure. I mean, that's supposed to be the most accurate portrayal, right? Is the white light. Um, same here. Picked up some pattern from underneath. Um, and then this kind of teal and the yellowy and the orange and more of this blue and the green stuff. Um, and more yet again with a pattern, a little bit of a pattern in it. I don't know if you can really see it. There's like some spots spots dots something there's some other papers that need printed again there's some stuff mixed in here like my daughter painted this and used half of a bottle of my color shift paint i was so upset with her i i, I do let her come in here sometimes and do art and use my stuff but the list of stuff that i don't want her to use keeps getting longer and longer so yeah um I really like how like this one turned out. Um, this one was this was given to me by somebody else. So this is basically just my stack of papers that I've made and papers I've gotten from other people. This I made with distress inks. This was given to me in Happy Mail. Um, this I made and actually like half of the layer of this paper ripped off, but I love this part over here so much that I'm just going to make use of it anyway. That one I like. These were from a long time ago. These were not from the other day. Um, I actually like that too with the purple and the yellow and then metallic purple dots. This one turned out really cool. Um, yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not thrilled with this lighting. I don't know what is going on. My daughter made this. Um, I think this must have been a, a rub a brush off or something and I kind of like how the colors turned out. My daughter made this. Uh, more really pretty uh, greens and yellows. Uh, more of my daughter using up my color shift paint. <laughs> Another one that I did a long time ago. Uh, yeah, this, this is a messy page, but hey, it's fun. You do stuff right on top of it. So another one, this is green and blue, but it looks way prettier here than it does on camera. This one almost looks kind of tie-dyed a little bit. Um, did this with paint and, I think my daughter might have made this one with the yellow and the birds. Brush off page. I did this one with the stencil and the birds. Uh, my daughter made this one, I think. Yeah, and it turned out really pretty. I'm not sure what all paints she used, but it turned out really good. Uh, more gel prints and paint off paper. And most of these were like things, most of these sheets were either, yeah, like old scrapbook paper. I had old eight and a half by 11 scrapbook paper. And then some of this is stuff that we printed that was going to be recycled. So I don't know why I'm going through all of this stuff. I don't think I ever have. Um, but this is supposed to be a journal, a journal episode. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. But basically the point is, I've got a lot more stuff than I need to jelly print, which I am not going to do today. Um, I see I have way more over here. This is what I mean by printing off these pictures. I guess I actually printed that on the white. But yeah, I've got all kinds of um, more. 
I need that. I got this in Happy Mail. I love it. It's like, um, it's real, it's kind of a, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it's like thick magazine paper almost. Very nice. I like the paper. I did that. This I got in Happy Mail, which I love. It looks like maybe some, there were some glitter spray used or some sparkly paint but it's super pretty this i received in the mail and it's super pretty some of this stuff is so pretty that i just don't want to use it and then this is an envelope that for some reason i decided to take a i don't know what i did here oh yeah i cut it in half i guess is what i did and then folded the flap over that way i could make a smaller envelope if I, I don't know why in the world i did that because i've got the small the small manila envelopes anyway who, who knows but i figured while i was jelly plating the other day i might as well throw some color on it that way i can throw it and start making a pile of envelopes that are already decorated it's securely glued together so i mean it'll it'll go through the mail but it's still i'm I'm assuming that's still an oversized envelope, so not like it matters because I, I mean, I don't spend tons on postage. I don't do a ton of swaps because I get overwhelmed with all the responsibility. So, anywho, um, the point of this was to do some stuff in my journals. So, I want to get, a, get some use out of this, um, these journals that I've had that I made a long time ago that um, I have not filled up yet. So I've got, this is my very first junk journal that I ever made out of an envelope. Um, I got the basic idea from Stacy Evans when I started following her years ago. Um, you know, and then, um, oh yeah, I was going to do a page. I had stuff all laid out. Um, I started following her years ago, back in the day. Um, and she had done a really cool, uh, envelope journal where she had taken book pages and torn them and put them all over the, um, the journal, the envelope. And then she, uh, distressed them and kind of painted it um, blue blue and pink and did this cool angel on it anyway so that's where I got the basic idea to use a manila envelope for a journal obviously this is nothing like hers was um, but anyway it's where I got the idea from I used to get a lot of inspiration from her back in the beginning um, so it looks like I inked the edges, painted, you know, whatever. But it's basically, I did the whole, I made a spine and I may have got, I don't remember, but I think the spine uh, idea I took from Liz Drake because I tied it in, I tied my signatures in like a flow and I've obviously got some coming out. Yep. Um, so I need to fix that. But then I also um, glued them in the spine. And so I kind of put a bunch of Aileen's in the spine that I created in this envelope. And my signatures were actually stapled together. This is all screwed up. This must go under here. So obviously my um, staples have, have failed me. Um, and then and then I would basically just stick the signature down in the glue and then pull it real tight so that the, you know, the string would pull the signature against the glue to kind of hold it in. And it's obviously totally falling apart. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to fix it and keep adding stuff to it. Or, I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it because it's obviously a part of my you know, history and my whatever. I mean, I'm going to want to look back at it someday. I even enjoy looking at it now. I, I think this turned out really good, actually, for as terrible as I am at drawing. 
and I've been trying to practice. Um, but I did some journaling in here, and obviously, you know, some of this stuff that I, where I wrote, I should have painted it first or gessoed it first. But um, I've got like a Walgreens bag in here, and I didn't even gesso it before I started writing stuff. And then obviously, I was trying to practice my face drawing because I've got my lines. Um, you can't see it because of the stupid light that's. See, I thought I had all this figured out, but when I look up at the camera, it drives me super nuts that everything is so washed out. So, I don't know what to do. Anyway, there's lines, you know, where I was trying to get my um, lining everything up right. And then I was doing some testing with white gel pen on black. And I did some paint stuff in here. A lot of this was junk mail, scrap stuff. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be glued together or not. I'm guessing not, but it's... Well, it's not now. <laughs> and then um, a lot of times I would just go in here with extra paint and kind of start getting rid of the paint on some of this junk mail to cover it up. But... I'm not sure if I'm inspired to do anything with it um, right now. And I think I'm finding it hard. I think I, what I really need to do is just start, wow. I just need to start gluing stuff in these things because part of me sits here and goes, okay, what am I going to do with another journal? Because I don't, I don't really write as much as I should. Um, I don't do near as much documentation as I would like to. So I think the best thing for me to do is not be stressed out and just relax and glue some, glue some junk in here and then move on down the road. So I really want to lose some junk in here, but I gotta figure out where my staples failed me at. Oh my gosh. These were big staples too. Did I use my I must have used the big old staple gun from the garage because that's humongous. So I'm guessing, I don't know, I've got a little one there. Well, I don't know what the heck. I don't know if I want to try to re-staple this or if I even give a crap at this point. Problem is, it's just gonna. Yeah, some of this all has different size staples in it. Those are huge. Oh my gosh. And how are they even? I don't understand how they're slipping out. They've literally unbent themselves. How do big old freaking commercial staples like that unbend themselves from paper? Like, aren't these things made to like go in wood or something? And they're like, I don't know what's happening. Ugh. And see, this is, this is stressing me out. Because I'm looking at this feeling completely uninspired. But I feel this, this requirement to, like, fill it up. And I guess I'm, nobody's requiring me to fill it up. Maybe I should take some of the stuff that's in here and use it to put stuff in my other journal. How about that? Let's start with that and see if I can get going here. This is a problem that I continuously have to work at. The wanting to get on here and yak about crap and, you know, share some stuff with everybody and how I, excuse me, excuse me chair, I'm trying to, or desk, trying to scoot in here, anywho, um, then I get on here and I'm like totally brain farting everything, I just, I don't know what to do, and so then I get frustrated with things, so here's what we're going to do. I am not going to screw with this all night because I'm just going to get all ticked off and I might regret this later, 
but I think I'm not going to regret it as long as I keep this stuff and then use what I like because I love this picture with the eye so I'm just going to rip it out of here <laughs> and let me see those mermaid tails are suck I mean they don't even look like mermaid tails I tried to draw some cacti on here the other night when we were talking about those books in one of the one of the girls streams I was watching we were talking about the books that everybody's gotten the, the botanical drawing books I think Joey bought them and then Spanky got them and I think a couple of people have them <laughs> and I want I want one and I'm gonna go ahead and save this paper anyway just because I like the paper I mean, it's shiny vellum paper, so what's not to like? And there's nothing wrong with this paper, because it's cool. That's just stupid, but, eh, okay. So this is where I have glued, obviously, because, um, so this method over time, this has probably been maybe a couple of years ago, obviously didn't hold up very well, but that doesn't mean that it can't work. It just means that I might suck at it. So, I like parts of this too, but I don't need to keep both layers of it. So, what I'm probably going to do is just cut it and just keep the top layer and then use parts of it. And I'll just throw away this bottom layer that's got all the glue and stuff on it so that I can keep parts of it. So, rest in peace, um, old journal from from in the yonder days when I was a young little apprentice which I'm still a young little apprentice because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing half the time I'm just I'm just buying more supplies and adding more things to my list that I want to try um, and then never getting to it so that's pretty much my mo um, I want to do stuff, and I, I like to buy craft stuff, but, and I love to watch all the YouTubers. Yeah, even a little bit of that would be bad to keep. Let me just keep a little bit of this, because it's kind of pretty. Why not? Here we go. I just completely deconstructed this crap journal that I had. Look, I'll even keep the fibers. We're just going to put all this in a pile. <laughs> Never before have you seen the atrocities of a crafter dismantling their own work. What a show. Popcorn here. Get your popcorn here. One dollar. All right. That was messy. This is another journal that I made. And this one turned out a little bit better. I've used it a little more and I learned a few things. Um, so yes, this was a little bit of memory keeping because I've saved some things in here, um, that I wanted to keep from people, etc. document. This journal was made out of a Ritz cracker box. It says find beauty in every day. I did some texture. This was obviously some kind of gloss. This was probably Mod Podge, glossy Mod Podge. That's what the back looks like. So this is the binding. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks. And it this is this is probably going to start coming apart too because I'm pretty sure that these signatures are also stapled. No, this one's sewn. So these signatures are sewn, but then they are slipped in. Um, not quite flow style, but maybe traveler's notebook style, I guess. So I can slide the signatures out. And these are some fat signatures. And I'm pretty sure this is the way that I made my December junkie journal too. Um, if you haven't seen those videos yet, those, this one was stapled. Um, those were my first um, videos. That was my first time recording in YouTube land. And I was trying to kind of follow the December daily thing that a lot of people were doing. Um, I didn't do a very good job in doing it daily. 
but I was, these tables at least look like they're holding everything. And I did a lot more journaling in here too, but see, off topic digging squirrel. Um, so I did the December daily. So if you want to check out some of my earlier videos from late last year, um, I kind of went through the process of making the, that, uh, journal, but anywho, so yes, I've done some, I thought this was, what the heck, where does the, what happens here? Because I know this was also connected. These are like some of the, um, the programs from my daughter's choir concerts from a couple years ago. And I've got all kinds of stuff in here too. And I do have, you know, multiple sizes of papers. I made a flip here with this envelope that I like. I've got like a card here from somebody and I wrote a note about it. Um, picture journaling, uh, more journaling. So I did do some journaling in here. Um, this was a bunch of journaling about, um, we had like three really bad things happen to us in a row, um, last year at well, one of them was way more terrible than the other two, but, um, we, we had found out that my mother-in-law was sick. Um, and I think that was not the first thing that happened. I think the first thing that happened was our hot water heater went out unexpectedly. And then we found out that my mother-in-law was sick. And then after that, um, our little dog got attacked by one of our bigger dogs and we could never figure out why. Um, anyway, so it was just a bunch of crazy, crazy stuff. But I do like, at least I attempted in here to this one. So it's, there's an obvious difference between the first one and this one. Um, there's a lot more in here. I started adding a lot more color. I did some journaling. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one to go ahead. And here I'm writing about fuzzy tacos. Um, cause we had one that opened last year here, I think, or maybe, I think it was last year and they have this butt burning sauce on the table. And so of course I was excited to try that and see if it really did stand up to its name. And anyway, um, so I wrote about it here and I love how this blue looks on the paper bag and I don't, I don't even have any clue. This might be some of that Prima spark paint. Oh my God. It is gorgeous. I need some more of that just so I can look at it. Um, my son started high school, so he is almost done with his freshman year and he's learning how to drive. Yeah. So and this is not chronological at all because well, this was 2018. So this happened like before this anyway. Um, I don't pressure myself to do anything in chronological order. Um, this was something my daughter did for me all about mom. Happy Mother's Day. I just taped that in. She also made me this. This was part of a, she, she pot, put this cute little petunia in a tiny little pot for me and put it in this pink bag that I cut a piece out of and then left it in her backpack all weekend from a Friday. So the plant was almost dead Sunday afternoon by the time we found it. Um, so I wrote about it in here, kept part of the bag and the stickers that she had given me. Um, we were able to save the plant and plant it outside last year. So that turned out well. Um, this was watercolor. I think I was just messing around on an envelope. And then I just wrote simply here that this is, um, this is for sure one of my favorite color combos, which is the kind of pink, orange, yellow, the sunsetty look. This was just a picture of my best friend and I joining some, pe enjoying some peckerhead red wine. So I had some wine washi. These are all my pack. This is all the packaging from my Jane Davenport watercolors. And I must have swatched them here just kind of in a rainbow. 
This says out of limitations comes creativity. That was a watercolor flower that I tried to paint. <laughs> Um, this is one of my favorite handmade soaps that we buy at the farm and art market, which actually happens right across the street from our house during the summer. Um, I kept one of my flower tag things, and apparently I did some journaling there, and have pictures there of some of the stuff we did in the yard last year. This is some kind of journaling, yeah. This is the a face, the side of a face that I drew. And then this is probably what, you know, on a day that I wasn't feeling the best about myself. It says change at the top. And this is a list of everything I want to change. My body, my eyes, my bad habits, my color blue. That comes from the True Colors personality test thing. They made us do that at work. Um, my sadness, my loneliness, my pitch black, and my silence um untangle me from these knots which is the hair i probably wasn't having a good day i'm guessing <laughs> this looks like more of that prima uh, sparks paint in the purple lovely there's some wrapping paper more uh, paper this was a vintage cover from good housekeeping that i had printed I think I had joined some kind of a challenge last year where they would post vintage magazine covers. I can't remember what group it was, but then you were supposed to like kind of do your own um, take on it. So you could just take like, a, you know, an element like her red bow or the blue door in the background or the brick, and then you could kind of make your own thing from it. More journaling. This was just... I have this packaging, uh, something that somebody had sent me in Happy Mail, and I just took a tag and threw some other stuff in here and sealed it up, and it says you can do anything. Um, journaling there. This was also my daughter's, this is my daughter's first day of school page. Um, that was just a bunch of mess, which there's nothing wrong with that. This was a bunch of mess. I love how it turned out. Um, it's really cool. This was on some of that. This is on some of that deli sheet. So I just glued it in here. And this is where I had just painted all over. Did some stenciling, stamping, basically just mixed media stuff on here. Um, this was the cover of a notepad, like a notebook that I used to have. Life's a journey, enjoy the ride. So I just pulled the cover off and glued it down. This is just magazine stuff. I don't know why it's in here. Beautiful places. I said, love fits you. Imagination is the eye of the soul. Just some collage. Uh, it's okay. I'm not great at it. This was supposed to be a feeble attempt at some sort of blackout poetry. So I just blacked it. I just kept words that had some sort of meaning, I guess. They don't really go together and make a poem or a haiku or anything um, like that, but the words are just, I don't, I don't know. This was something that I cut out on my Cricut machine and it was supposed to be like a card. This was the back. Um, and I glued it down, um, front down because the, the doors that opened in the front, like it just, I didn't fold it straight and so they're all wonky so i wasn't going to use it for anything so i just glued it down in here because i like the the pattern and this is a paper source bag which is so pretty and i'm not going to paint it because it's beautiful picture of my daughter this was the tag off of something i got at the one spot that had the little poodle that i really liked and i made a pocket out of uh, pretty most of the uh, discover card junk mail comes in really pretty envelopes so i keep them because a lot of them are really really pretty this was some watercolor with love bark this was a bunch of stuff back here about i don't know where, why it all got split up and i thought it was all in the same place about the dogs um my old employer where I used to work. I got recognized for a certification that I got. 
about all I ever got recognized for. Uh, this was about an article in the paper about music teachers that were, they were my music teachers in high school. And my dad had found it for me in the, he found it in the hometown paper and brought it down to me. So I uh, made a pocket out of the bag, stuck the articles in there, and then did some journaling about it and glued it to the bag. This was some collage that I had done with some uh, inks and some stuff that I had printed out. What's it say? Some days I don't know who I am. Yeah, well, if you've got a fish in your midsection. Um, I don't know. I glued down some baby wipe here that had color on it and put a witch's face there. This was some kind of junk mail that we got that was talking about the Cosmosphere or something that's in one of the towns close to us. And so I just cut out everything that didn't have any kind of advertisement on it and just glued it down and then painted the background. Starburst jelly beans package. Some more journaling. This was probably the receipts from my craft table and stuff when we bought all that. And this is where I'd written down everything I wanted and what I was going to need to make my tables the way I wanted and how much it was going to cost. So I kept all that stuff. I'm really terrible at keeping stuff like that, so I try to do better um, at keeping stuff and taking pictures. This was something that I had made for my daughter's locker in sixth grade, and so when she brought all her stuff home, she didn't, she probably just would have kept this in a pile somewhere, and so I just swiped it back and taped it to camera journal. <laughs> Naughty. Um, this is the uh, school's mascot for the school where my kids go to school, the Mavericks. <clears throat> I think this was when I painted lace black. And so I took the lace and pressed it down onto the paper to leave a print. Yeah, so there's like just a lot of stuff in here that I haven't done anything with yet. Um... <clears throat> This was telling the story about our puppy that we um, rescued last year. The organization we rescued him from. Several pictures of him and the other dogs and some journaling. So, yep. He's our little kitty puppy. Some more watercolor. I actually kind of like how this one turned out. Um, yeah. So I think that I will work in this one. And since I've been yakking for so long and flipping, uh, this is when I tried to do <coughs> watercolor. I think Marta did this a long time ago. And I think she's done some variations because I know she's done like circles and then bubbles. And I swear she did some that she turned into flowers. This was my very lame attempt to try to, to do that. And so I wanted to go ahead and keep it anyway, just because I really liked how these color combinations turned out. Well, all of these really. Um, but the rest of it, I could leave it. This wasn't terrible. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing here trying to get it to drip down. But anyway, I want to put this in here. So, okay, since I've taken so long flipping through the journal and then ripping apart another journal like a complete mad woman, I am going to end this video here and then I will start a new video where I actually go through here and start working on it and, and putting stuff in it because I need to go get a drink of water anyway because I've been flapping my yap so much that I am coughing and it's frustrating me and I'm done with that noise already so um, once I get this book done then I'm going to go back to voluptuous violet this is my fatty patty um, and I need to also add more stuff to fatty patty because the reason why I really want to get through these books is because I had a Diane Reevely I don't know. I have a, a journal 
that I really want to start using, but I'm telling myself that I need to finish up or do something with these other two before I do anything with this. It's Ranger. I don't remember which person it is. I'm so sorry. Uh, it could be her. It could be... Yeah, I think, it, I think this is a creative diary. Is it not? Heck, I don't know. The point is, it's got this real... It's got burlap in it. It's got canvas in it. It's got this really awesome, super thick like linen paper. Is that what this is? I don't know for sure, so... Sorry that I don't know. Um, I've got plans for the cover already. It's got the craft paper in it. I just love this. Um, but I would like to, I, I, I'd like to definitely do more mixed media pieces in here. And I don't mind incorporating some, some documentation into that because I mean, I think I need to learn to do better at incorporating my art with my um, documenting life stuff but this will not be just a, a glue book in general I'll continue to have uh, a composition notebook or something like that but I really want to so I suppose I don't have to finish these because these are kind of anything goes I'll do anything in here I'll do some journaling I'll do some collage I'll just throw a bunch of paint down and um, let it look pretty. You know, there's no, most of my journals up until this point have not been specific to a theme or a medium or a technique or anything. I don't have a collage book and then a glue book and then a an art journal and then a I mean I don't have them all separated out like that so um right wrong or indifferent that's just not the way that I roll so I've never um I just kind of like throwing it all in one book uh, I think it it gives a little more interest when you could flip through you know and one page uh is a weird you know a glue book page where you just throw stuff down that appeals to you and then the next page you're journaling about something that happened in your life so i i like that and i don't mind it um i've also got of course my mixed media books which i do other mixed media stuff in as well so um anywho um i'm gonna come back on another video and we're gonna start going through my boxes and gluing stuff down in here. So thanks for hanging out with me and watching me, um, watching me deconstruct one journal and flip through another one. And I will be back with another video and we will get to work on this, on this big girl. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.